Hi guys and welcome to The Cook's Pantry. We are on location in my hometown of Noosa and what better way to show off a town's identity than to hit the farmer's market. Let's go and check it out. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, I'm good, good. What uh, you like this morning? A dozen eggs if I can. Uh, That'd be good. Like I'll go large. large? Yes, no please. There we go. All right. Six dollars. Fantastic, good thank man. you. Thank you. The good old farmer's market is an absolute injection of inspiration and just took a walk past the crepe stand. I've got bananas and honey to my left, eggs in my hand. I'm just going to duck over and grab them. Thanks, mate. Cheers. All right. This is what I love about a farmer's market and being in my hometown of Noosa, this one is so familiar to me. This is what it's all about, getting down here on a Sunday, taking a roam around, getting some inspiration, coming down, being a part of the community and buying some incredibly fresh produce. Now, I have to say that being set up on a little stand here with my gas cooker at Noosa Farmer's Market, making some banana pancakes, in front of a few cameras was something that I didn't think was ever gonna happen. But you know what, I'm having an absolute ball. There's people everywhere <laughs> looking at me like, what is this guy up to? So banana pancakes it is, and we're gonna make that happen. So I've got some beautiful fresh bananas, honey, milk, eggs, all the ingredients from the market. Now I've just gotta put it all together. Gonna to kick it off with a really, really, really simple pancake batter. I'm gonna go in with some milk, about a cup. Now there's no, no caster sugar, no brown sugar, nothing like that here at the market. So I'm gonna be doing it with some honey. Bananas and honey are an absolute classic combination, and this is gonna be bringing the sweetness in the pancake dish today. Okay, so just gonna give that good hit of honey. Eggs, the key to a cracking pancake batter is to split your eggs. Yolks in here, and then the whites. I'm gonna get some beautiful aeration into those whites, and then fold it through the pancake batter to give us that beautiful, light, fluffy texture. So I've just gotta split these. I'm gonna go with three eggs. Whites in there, yolks in there. Now, with your banana pancakes, you want some nice ripe bananas. It's, it's very similar to making a smoothie. You want them to have a little bit of color, starting to, to caramelize in their own sugar, and that's gonna bring out that beautiful banana flavor and the sweetness. And it just enables you to back off on the sugar or the honey. All right, so I'm just gonna give that a quick whisk and bring that together. Make sure that all that honey is moved through the wet ingredients in the batter. All right. And now I've just got about a cup of plain flour here, just with a little teaspoon of baking powder. Just gonna make that and gently whisk that through. You don't wanna overwork it. You start to overwork flour, you get a bit of a stiff batter, which is not what you're after when you're cooking it. You want it to remain light and fluffy, so don't overwork it. We're just gonna bring that together, set that to the side. Now, this is the most important part of the pancakes, the egg whites. Absolutely crucial. It not only gives you that, that aeration, but with the egg whites, it's, it gives you that texture like a meringue. You know, when you get that slightly biscuity edges, that's what you're after with a good pancake. So you just want to get like soft peaks. That's starting to come together pretty quickly. It always helps when you've got room temp eggs. These were obviously straight off the stand, sitting up on the shelf. And you can see already in like 20, 30 seconds, that started to, to whip up really, really nicely. Are they going to fit on there? Yes. Now we've got the two crucial parts of the pancake batter together, ready to go. So I'm just going to peel these. This is what you want. You want bananas that are starting to color. That's, that's where that sweetness is gonna come from. That's just the natural sugar in those bananas starting to come through. Now, I'm just gonna give these a rough, chunky chop. So just into, into your discs and just chop your knife over it. One of those, uh, like a potato masher, perfect. Because it'll still give you that texture. But we are at the markets today, so we weren't gonna bring the whole kitchen pantry with us. We're gonna work with a knife and it's still gonna get the job done. I just saw the strawberries back there that are glistening in the sunlight. I think I'm gonna jump over there and start to dress the top of these pancakes with a few strawberries. Bit of whipped cream, another drizzle of honey. All right, bananas in. Now, I have no measuring cup, so I'm just gonna see how I'm looking here. Move these through the batter. That's looking not too bad. I'm just gonna give it another dash of milk just to loosen it up, and then I'll fold the egg whites through it. Okay, in we go with the whites. Make sure you get all of that in there. It's crucial to getting that, that nice fluffy pancake. Now I'm just gonna fold this one through just until we get it incorporated, and then we can start cooking them. It's as easy as that. I'm making pancakes at the markets. All right, 
So you can see the texture of that has absolutely changed. There's a lot of air bubbles in there, which is what we want. So while I'm waiting for that pan to come up, I have that little moment of clarity where I want to go and pinch some strawberries. I'm just going to duck over, see old mate, and I should be ready to go. Morning. Part of those. Thanks, mate. Sure, mate. Beautiful. Thank you. All right, how are we looking? Good. Chuck a little bit of butter in, see how we're looking. I'm going to go in with just a little bit of oil as well. It's going to stop that butter from burning. And oil also helps to get that nice colour and a little bit more caramelisation than what you get out of just a straight butter. Start to ladle these in. We want to get it to the point, we want to see them stop. So we want to see them create their own little edge. That's when we know you've got the batter just at the right point. I reckon we'll get three in there. Yeah, so we'll get three in there. I'll let them cook. When you see the, those classic bubbles start to come through the top, that's when we know we can flip them and hopefully we get that nice golden caramelization on the base. All right. This could be the sign of a killer pancake batter here if I can flip it with a silicon spatula. There we go. I'm just going to crank that heat up a little bit more. They're about two thirds of the way cooked through. You can see it around the edges here. So all we want to do, flip them over, finish them off and get that sort of colour on the opposite side. And I might have to cook a bigger batch here. I've had a few, few people waiting around very patiently. I'm going to reward them with some banana pancakes. All right looking good. So I'm just going to get a nice little stack happening here. That's the sort of colour that you want to go for. You don't want those anemic, pale looking pancakes. You want colour, you want a bit of personality on there. Absolutely loving it. So I'm going to do another batch, get them in, and then I'll sort out some strawberries to dress over the top. A little bit of whipped cream, and we're on our way to a solid brekkie. So we've got ourselves a nice, generous stack of banana pancakes happening over there. Just chopped up some strawberries and after talking to my mate, Mr. Michael Weldon, he was out at the farm earlier this week and said that they are absolutely phenomenal. I mean, really, does anything need to be said? Have a look at those. Unbelievable. That lush banana pancake, a little bit of whipped cream, obviously a little drizzle of honey over the top to finish it. Not a bad way to start a Sunday. All right, cream is whipped. Now dress this over the top, get a nice bundle of your strawberries. I do want to go just another drizzle of this honey. So you've got that nice little hint of the honey in the pancake. Just want to give it another little hit over the top. There we go, nice hit of that. Dollop of your whipped cream. And there is my banana and honey pancakes, a few strawberries, some local honey, courtesy of Noosa Farmers Market. Yeah, thanks gang. <laughs> Give it a shot. There we go. Get into that cheese. So get a bit of strawberry. Strawberry on top. 